What up everybody, this is Food for Thought number 12, and this is about video games. You see, one thing I get so sick and tired of is people be like, oh, avoid this game, don't buy this game and everything because it's woke. There's a lot of good games out there that are quote-unquote woke. I mean, hell, if you want to be realistic about it, um, you could say something like Legend of Zelda's woke, even the original one. I'm just saying, you're playing as a male. The male is a hero. The hero is a male, you know. So technically it should be called Legend of Link. But it's called Legend of Zelda. That's right. The um, game is named after the woman. So I guess if you want to be technical about it, Legend of Zelda's woke and has always been woke. So yeah. Or, it's like saying Mario Bros. 2 is woke because he was able to play as Peach, you know. Like, this is ridiculous. People are saying Dead Space is woke, you know, the remake, because you have a unisex bathroom. Oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. You know, I'm going to be honest. People kept telling me to avoid Saints Row, the new Saints Row game, because, oh, it's woke and everything. I don't care. As long as the game is fun to play, I don't give two shits. I don't care. I don't focus on agendas or, or anything like that that's in a video game. When I get a video game, I get it for the sole purpose of like, hey, that game looks like it'd be fun to play. I don't care what kind of agendas are in the game. I don't care how woke it is. I don't give two shits. Like, for real. And I'm a conservative. I'm a right-wing conservative, you know. So, yeah. And I still don't give two shits if a game is quote-unquote woke or anything. Like, for real, it's a video game. It's meant to be played and have fun. Not to be focusing on what kind of agendas are in the game. Like, for real. Y'all take care. God bless and peace.